All right, guys, if you're watching this, it's probably because you want to know what the life of a professional volleyball player looks like when they're not playing volleyball. I got you guys. So this is the last episode that I filmed. So I did five full episodes, but this one was the most recent one. They're put out kind of out of order. I'm going to do a little walk and walk and talk. I'm just going to walk through the video with you and kind of just stop it at points when I think I have something to say. And if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments and I will try to answer them as best that I can. Okay, first and foremost, I feel like something happened. Like I arrived later than I was supposed to. Oh, that's right. I ended up getting to my hotel at like one or two in the morning. So we had originally planned to get up super early and go to Red Rocks, but she was like, you know what? Sleep in a little bit. We'll go to work out and then we'll do Red Rocks in the afternoon. So I met her at her gym. We're in Denver. I thought it was gonna be much colder. I'm like actually hot in this. Oh my gosh, yeah. You never know what, the, what you're gonna get with the weather here. But it's beautiful and I'm so excited to see your hometown. So we're starting off yes. strong, getting a little lift in. Yes. Let's do it. Okay, a little bit of a <laughs> tricky move there. So we originally were going into this like LA fitness or something and we walked in and I had my camera and we're like, hey, can we film a little bit? We're just gonna get some B-roll of her working out and they were like, the guy, first of all, was like, let because she, she had called ahead and they said, yeah, it was no problem. He's like, let me get my manager. And the manager comes down. And she's like, absolutely not. There's no way that you can do that. It just, it's impossible. It's totally against our, our protocol or whatever. And she was a little, she was a little snarky with it too. Uh, so we did not film there. We instead went to her rec center, which she also has a workout pass for. So we filmed this bit. And then we couldn't film on the inside, so then we ended up just driving over to the other gym. <laughs> but you can't tell. Seamless transition. Start the day right. See? Let's go work out. <laughs> Never would have been right. I'm moving on down, down the road. Watch me as I go. Watch me as I go. Should I look both ways before you cross me, babe? Because I don't break. I'm moving on. Okay, and there was a guy doing handstands, and I was like, oh, that was so cool. I filmed him doing it. And she's like, I can do that. So she just goes over there and does a handstand. I'm like, why are you so talented at everything? Hey, 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 I'm moving on. Hey, got nothing to do. Good try. The second one was a little better. I think she put a weight or something. I'm moving on. I just love to work out in general, so every week it's usually a couple times lifting. I like to do uphill sprints near my house, and I love to just like get a workout in doing whatever, like bye. I swear she should be a fitness model. I mean, I'm looking at this footage and I already think she's beautiful, but just I would buy whatever she's selling right now. Hiking or walking, hiking. I'm a lot of breath right now. <laughs> I even told her to do that drink thing again because I was like, oh, that looks so cool. I just did some jumping. So it's kind of like cross training. It's fun. Nice. Keep it fun. Keep it light. Yeah. And I don't know why I didn't do that little interview bit with her before she started working out because she was totally out of breath. Poor girl was like, <gasps> and then trying to answer questions. But it worked out fine. <laughs> well, that's a good looking ball. Right? Isn't it? <laughs> Hit that man. No, no. <laughs> we are going to show you the reason why Castle Rock got its name. <laughs> we just oh, I debated leaving this in, but I thought it was kind of funny, I guess. Not funny. I dropped. So we were driving and I had taken my camera and just put it in the back seat. And I guess when we were driving, it shuffled out around a little bit. So when I opened the door, it just fell right out onto the ground. My heart just like dropped into my stomach, but I was, like, I wasn't that upset. It's really hard to explain because if you know anything about cameras, you know how expensive this stuff can be. But I was just like, I'm so happy to be here. Like, it's fine. I'm, I have a backup lens at a 35 mil prime, which means I couldn't zoom in or out with it and it couldn't go wide enough to really capture a lot. So I, it's really zoomed in. The rest of the video, you'll see everything's like super up close, 
but it has a really low depth of field, so it's got beautiful bokeh in the background. I might be getting a little bit too technical for this video, which is supposed to be about volleyball, but uh, that's how it be when, when I get talking about cameras. Tap. We need to put a safety belt on there. I know, I should have strapped it in. My fault. So, here it is. <laughs> Look at that beautiful thing. <laughs> And there's a lovely little hike where you can go up all the way to the top. <laughs> yeah, that's great. <laughs> we just started joking about the rock for the rest of the video. And I, as I was leaving, when I was leaving my hotel the next day, I sent her a video like, bye rock. <laughs> and she's like, the rock misses you. So we made it to downtown Castle Rock and we're just gonna grab a little coffee at this cute little shop down here. Let's take a walk and <laughs> yeah. check it out. <laughs> What do you feel like? <laughs> What's the best thing to get here? Matcha latte with... This was a really cute coffee shop. You can see it has so many little details and I love, when I'm filming, I love to get little details like this and especially on this lens, this lens that I was using, you can like, it just makes everything look beautiful. That was really, it was fun. Milk or almond milk? The go-to. I think I did that three or four times. I just filmed my feet walking, crunching in the snow. And then we just walked around this antique shop, which was half antiques and half just cutesy little things, but it's kind of fun. <laughs> so this is our house. Welcome on in. Um, let's check out the crib. I mean, look, look at the background already. You can see it overlooks the mountains and other houses. It's just beautiful. I gotta show you my artwork that I did a very long time ago, but I'm pretty proud of it. Well, this is a picture that I took of our dog when she was a puppy. I... You guys, this is the epitome of why I love doing these videos. If you met Lindsay, would you ever be like, she's an artist? Maybe, maybe, but you would never know that unless she told you. And you would definitely never know that unless you saw how good, how good she is. It took probably the entire school year to finish this, but it did win a couple arts. You guys, what the heck? Look at that. That looks like it's straight out of... I don't know, it could be a photo. It's amazing. I used to think I was okay at art, but this is next level. I'm still just looking at it like... You go, you cute little puppy. Shows, so, so I'm pretty proud of it. It's awesome. I did this over um, Christmas. My sister bought these fun little activities to do for us while we were here, so <laughs> that's one thing. <laughs> A little family collage. Yes. Oh, hi. 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 <laughs> Mid filming, her mom walks in, and I was like, oh, can I film you guys a little bit? And then I realized I had just totally put her on the spot, and they were just like a little bit. I don't want to say uncomfortable, but she was like, I don't know what to say. And I was like, okay, I'm going to turn the camera off. And then once I turned the camera off, she couldn't stop talking like the most friendly woman you've ever met. And I was like, man, I, I should have kept my camera rolling for some of this stuff. So this is my mom, Joy. Super, super AU fan. Yeah. So this is where I get my height. Yeah. <laughs> My mom's mom and dad's wedding photo. Do you think I look like her? Yeah, yeah I wish yeah. I had zoomed in a little yeah, bit more I... on that. I wish I had zoomed in a little bit more on the wedding photo so you could actually see her mom's face. But I think if you go back and look at her mom's face from when we just met her, it's identical. I don't know. Do I look a lot different? Do you think? No, you look exactly. No, you look exactly <laughs> the same as you did in high school. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, me, my sister, and her husband, and my little brother. <laughs> All right, let's show you some of my other artwork that I Oh, we can stop by. <laughs> so these are all our high school photos. Apparently, I liked to pluck my eyebrows. It was oh, the 90s. Everyone plucked their eyebrows. <laughs> There's one of my masterpieces. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> this is a watercolor. Just 
Just one of so the good. collection. Oh, so good. I mean, come on. <laughs> okay, this one. This one actually, I think, won a, an art show as well, and it hung in the White House for a little bit. What? Yeah. Cool. It's a pen and ink. Can I titled it like Scratch or something? <laughs> But it took I love that Lynn just my laughs artwork. after, I didn't get after a lot everything. Of done, but I put a lot of time into it, and it, they usually turned out pretty good. So there you are. Okay, and then I'll show you my huge collection of jerseys. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna leave it right here. We go through all of these jerseys. She's got laid out on her bed like a hundred jerseys from her pro season, and this is only like the last few years as well. Like this wasn't even when she was playing in Europe, but. I mean, she has had, I think she said she had a 14 year career. So if you ever want to know how to be a professional volleyball player and how to keep doing it, she's a great person to talk to. We ended up this video going to Red Rocks, which is where a lot of concerts, she's like, the Beatles have played there. I'm like, oh wow, they have? She's like, actually, I don't know. We sh I gotta look that up. <laughs> so I'm just super naive and I trust everything that everyone ever says ever. But it was beautiful and we took a bunch of pictures and I kind of want to zoom forward to it so you can see the photos. There, like, come on. I don't, I'm not quite as photogenic as she is, but it was so beautiful. And if you want to see that part of the video, you got to go over to the AU YouTube channel and see the full video. I really hope you do. And if you have any questions about being a professional volleyball player or filming a life in the day in the life of a professional volleyball player, let me know in the comments and I will gladly try to come and, you know, tell you some more stuff. But that's it for now. <laughs> I've been talking a lot today. Um, like, subscribe, hit the bell, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!